Welcome to Benjamin Smith. First time here to MA Oddsbreaker. Um, RFA 32. He's actually right outside of a health club. Get ready to cut weight right now. Yep. Uh, but about how much you were? About 10 pounds? 10, 11 pounds. Is that is that good for right now or is that normal? It's where I like to keep it, yeah. yeah. It, 10 pounds is usually the, the marker for me. I mean, I'm, you know, anywhere between 10 and 15, but uh, I like it to be closer to 10. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, is, is there a point where you wake up in the morning and you go, wow, today's going to be a really long day? You know, is there like, when I would cut weight, I had that number. Like, I knew if I was six pounds over or less, it was a good day. If I was eight pounds over or more, it's going to be a really hard day trying to make weight. Yeah. Ten pounds is usually pretty easy for me. Um, what, you know, the 15-pound the marker is where it gets real hard. And, you know, I haven't tested myself beyond that. I don't, I don't plan on it. Yeah. Um, okay, well, you know, obviously training camp's done. It, it's nothing left but making weight and getting ready to fight. Break down Craig Ell Ellenberger for us. Like, how do you, how do you see that this is going to go? Well, you know, I, I'm i not really one to make specific predictions about fights because that's what they are. They can go anyway. But this guy's young. I, I, I can't get a, a, a huge read on him because he's only got five pro fights. But he's 5-0. and oh. He hasn't fought anyone really – great um but you know watching the footage that i can get on him he looks like he's gonna be a tough fight um he, he's got he's got gas in the tank that's for sure that's for sure so um if anything he'll probably be looking to drag me into the later rounds but um you know i i plan on trying to keep things on my feet um just keep exercising my stand up and if if it goes to the ground which it probably will this guy likes to shoot um i haven't seen him on his feet for very long but if it goes to the ground, you know, I, I'm very comfortable there. So, You know, it's pretty – most people you can say, well, I'm not really sure how this fight's going to end. But if you look at your record, four KOs, two submissions, eight decisions. Like, so it's, it's pretty easy for you to go, you know, more than likely this is going to be another another one of those long, hard-fought wars that you like being in. Like, you have, you have a tendency to being in these, these fights that, that you end up winning, but you just like being in these kind of war kind of situations. Um, why, why is it so easy for you to be in a war – as opposed to finding, finding an early quick finish. Oh, I'd love to have those early quick finishes. I don't think it's necessarily by choice. Um, you know, honestly, I, I, probably uh, my main criticism of myself as a fighter is that uh, I, I, I'm just tentative. I, I, I think once I get into, into fights, I, I, I play it too safe. Um, I've been probably throughout my career, uh, you know, really focused on, on me maintaining a win you know versus uh a performance i guess you know and i've i've tried to change that and tried to be better with that with every fight and um you know uh, last one was a finish just one the right way <laughs> just didn't go my way I, I don't like it when guys try to well, i'm gonna try and change how i am you know i'm not a guy that gets quick finishes so now i'm gonna be a guy that gets quick finishes that kind of throws off your game plan. You've been winning a lot of fights by decision because of the way that you approach the fight. If you take a different approach, it could work where you get a lot of quick finishes, but also could work where it goes negative. And you don't get a lot of quick finishes. You end up losing a lot more. Um, have your coaches sat down and talked to you about like what the process is of trying to change that mindset? Not really. Um, you know, it, you, it, the relationships that I have with my coaches haven't really been um, too cerebral. You know, so we don't, we don't get into a lot of the um, kind of psychological aspects of fighting. Um, that, thankfully, I, I think part of that is because I, I'm pretty good with dealing with those things on my own, I think. Um, and maybe they just kind of don't feel the need to interject on that level. But but who knows, you know. Um, but but I know what you're talking about. I, 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 I think it's an unfortunate kind of circumstance of, of the sport these days where you know, you're told how to fight, you know, and, and, um, it's, it becomes less of a sport and, and more of a, you know, of a show. And, and that, that's unfortunate. Um, and that's the way it is. <laughs> so I guess, uh, I guess the way that I'm approaching, um, to affect change in my small ways to just go out and do my thing as best I can. And hopefully the performance follows. Well, let's talk about your performance because part of that's going to be your corner. Who's in your corner uh, tomorrow night in uh, RFA? 
my corner has been occupied uh, pretty consistently since I've moved back to Minnesota by Greg Nelson, uh, who's, who's the coach here at, at the academy. And uh, phenomenal guy. He's <laughs> really, really great character. And uh, my guy from Extreme Couture, Dennis Davis, who has been in my corner since the very beginning. Um, Dennis has been just a phenomenal friend and, and guy to have, you know, in my corner. Um, he's come up to Minnesota and cornered me on his dime um, several times. Uh, unfortunately, I've been able to, to you know, it, not have him come up on his dime anymore. But uh, but he's done it, and he's you know, and he was he was there uh, for my first pro fight, and he's been in my corner pretty much for every fight. There's been a couple where they, I just really didn't need him, but. Um, those were just kind of record building fights and but for the important ones he's always he's always been here okay Ben. and then the last big question before we get out of here you're cutting weight right now who's actually helping you cut weight are you cutting weight alone alone yeah, yeah. is that, is that the way me. you always do it you know i mean if people are there that's great but i don't need them um yeah i yeah i wrestled since i was five <laughs> you know i think i started cutting weight freshman year of high school and kind of never stopped so, you know, I know what I'm doing. All right, it's Benjamin Smith. Get ready to fight Craig Eckelberg coming up here on RFA 32 tomorrow night, uh, November 6th, uh, up in Minnesota. Thanks so much for coming on, Ben. I appreciate it, man. Have a good weight cut. We'll talk to you later. Thanks, Frank. Take it easy.